63% of single individuals in the U.S. are not looking for romantic relationships or casual dating opportunities, according to a recent Pew Research study. Men, why are you single? It's rough out here. Dating apps have done irreparable damage to the dating scene. Any minor red flag or lack of an instant spark is a deal breaker when you have hundreds of options back on Hinge, Bumble, etc. There is no nuance, no benefit of a doubt. I'll try again, but I'm going to take it in stride and become emotionally available when I deem it safe. Dating has never been easy, but it would be nice to find a woman who's even trying to put in 30% effort these days. Stay safe out there, everybody, and take care of yourself. I gave up. Getting a date now has become harder than it ever has. In my 20s, it was hard, but not like this. It feels impossible now, and I just don't have the heart in me to try anymore. Just gonna focus on having fun, stay fit, and maybe get lucky and meet someone nice? Maybe. Messaging women on dating apps feels like applying to a job that you know you have almost no chance of getting. Like what could I possibly say in this slim window of opportunity that would impress this person? No idea. Seriously, if a great first date only reaches 99% of her high standards, she will thank you for buying dinner, go home, unmatch, and then continue swiping hundreds of other guys in order to find Mr. 100%, who doesn't exist. Men have a lot to work on, too. Both sides need to chill out and become more human. It's just exhausting out here. Why you all think that it should be easy? Finding a woman is actually quite similar to finding a job. You could go online and cast a wide net to as many women jobs as possible. They are usually receiving a large number of interested people, so they can be picky and are often flaky and don't call you back. They don't know you, so they are wary to rush into any commitment too fast. Some people find success, the process can be soul-sucking. However, networking bypasses a lot of those issues. Talk to friends and family. Maybe your friend's sister's yoga instructor is single. Maybe your aunt's co-worker just got out of a bad relationship. Everybody is within a few steps of someone single who might be a good match for you. And the beauty is, they're already vetted. They're not going to set you up with a problematic person because their own reputation is on the line. Set up a night when you all go out and you can meet them in a group setting. If you match, cool, get her number and go out again. If not, then no big deal, it was a fun night out. Dating these last three years has been insanely exhausting for me. I've dropped the dating apps and decided on just meeting people organically, but all the meetups I'm into, photography, book clubs, are overwhelmingly attended by senior citizens or couples. I've tried bar hopping with friends, but strangers don't seem to be receptive to me. It's happened enough times where I'm sure I'm the problem, although my friends tell me I'm not, so I'm over it. Because my wife left me when I needed her the most, I was always there for her when things got tough, but when I was the one who needed a bit of support, I was met with a stone-cold demeanor and not an utterance of support. She wasn't the only ex to do this, but that last experience was the one to break the camel's back and why I will never truly open up ever again, and why I will never fully commit to being there for someone else in their time of need. It's always been unreciprocated and makes me bitter every time. Things I experienced as a child really have messed me up when it comes to relationships. I have some pretty deep attachment wounds that I need to heal first. The last woman I became emotionally attached to absolutely wrecked me when she cut it off. She has a ton of unresolved trauma as well. Two unhealthy people do not make for a healthy relationship. I can't do it anymore, dude. The bar is too high and women have a million options. I can put my entire heart into it and get a lukewarm response. The apps have turned dating into a numbers game while I'm not really in it for that. The last one messed me up good. I go to therapy and I have a lot of issues I'm trying to deal with. The last girl I was dating found a trauma trigger and it went exceptionally poorly. Yes, I was the one that erred and I fully accept the blame. It was my fault, I owe my issues. But people are complicated. Everyone is going to let you down. And when the less than perfect version of me came out, she noped out. As is her right, I asked her to stay and when she didn't want to, I apologized again and let it die. There's nothing else that I can do in that moment. It hurt like crazy though. I know that people aren't perfect and I don't expect my girlfriend to be perfect. But when I show a moment of flaw and imperfection, she ran for the hills. It still got me pretty messed up. It feels like women absolutely love the idea of men being vulnerable and emotive. Until the real side, filled with trauma and insecurities and problems comes out. I've gotten many women to show interest in me. 
interest in the fact that I hold many of the characteristics of an amazing husband and father, but few of the bad boy characteristics that would have them want to be intimate with me. I felt it with so many. And I get infuriated, because it seems as if they believe I'm such a nice guy that I won't confront or argue with them. That I can be easily controlled by sex. I simply won't settle for a woman that believes she can bargain for a relationship with me with sex. It's similar to a job search in that every job opening gets like 75 applicants, and so by necessity most people get filtered out on some really simplistic criteria without more than a couple of seconds consideration. And they all want 10 plus years of experience in an entry-level position. Subscribe and like if my content is interesting to you. I post new video every day, 